Science is a subjective branch of knowledge. Science is very broad and used widely in our daily life. Most of thing happened around us has its science. From the life of an animal in the jungle, to the life of a human being. From deep under the bed of the earth, to the sky of the universe. When we talk about the inventor of science, we often mention figure like Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Galileo Galilei, Darwin and others that usually came from West. He question is, are there any scientists that come from Muslim culture? The answer is yes. There are a lot of Muslim scientists and they made a lot of contribution to the world of science. After the fall of Roman Empire about 1,300 years ago, the European lost their way in world civilization, and the period of time called the Dark Ages. In the meantime, Muslim built their civilization by the empire that started from city of Medina, up to Andalusia of Spain, and way east to Pakistan. The era was called Golden Ages of Muslim Civilization, during which philosophers, scientists and engineers of the Islamic world made a lot of contribution in various field of knowledge. One of notable innovation is in engineering field. al Jazari. A Muslim engineer that live in Ayyubid dynasty had invented many machines and devices that lead the development in nowadays mechanical engineering. His invention including the water moving and pumping system, which using the concept double acting suction pump and hydraulic piston that used in nowadays car engines. He crankshaft concept was used in his other invention, the automata, as well as the invention of elephant clock, which the concept used in the clock we used every day. He other popular invention is the camera by physician Ibn al-Haytham, that explain concept of light, and led to development of modern photography technology. Muslim scholar during golden ages also excelled in medical field. While Europeans still using shamans to heal disease, Muslim people made a great advancement in medical, as they created the concept of hospital, where sick people is quarantined in a specific place, to receive treatment according to their diseases. Father of Medicine, Ibn Sina or also known as Avicenna, explained concept in anatomy and pharmacology, and created various kind of medicine that stated in his book, Canon of Medicine. Another great doctor is Abu al-Qasim al-Zarawi, a master surgeon in Cordoba that invented surgery tools and instrument, that led to development of today's surgical method. Another field of excellence of Muslim during Golden Age is in astronomy. In Islam, Astronomical knowledge is important to determine time for prayers, direction of Qiblat, and calendar of Ijra. Contribution if Muslim in astronomy can be seen by the astronomical term and star names itself, that comes from Arabic word. Al-Biruni, a Muslim physician introduced the theory of spiral motion and explained how moon travel around the earth. Muslim astronomers also develop systematic observatories process by constructing a planetarium, and equipped with proper instruments for the observation. One of the great invention is astrolabe by Al-Fazari, that was used to find the direction of Qibla. Muslim scholar during Golden Age also did made a huge contribution to other science field, including architecture. A well-planned city like Andalusia and Cordoba, as well as the great design of mosque around the empire proved advancement of Muslim in architecture. In chemistry, Jabir ibn Hayyan discovered nitric and sulfuric acid, and introduced chemical purification process, such as distillation and crystallization. As we go through, we have seen so many contribution of Muslim in science during golden era. But, how much do their contribution appreciated in nowadays secular world? Western people cannot accept the fact that Muslim are in front of them. Thus, they erase the history and take the credit for them. As a Muslim, it is our responsibility to keep the history and proud of our ancestor. All the excellence however was 1300 years ago. Nowadays, Muslim far behind the Western in science and technologies. As a student, we should take the example and work as hard as these scholars in seek of knowledge, and make Muslim as leader in modern science discovery again. وَإِذَا قِيلَ انْشُزُوا فَانْشُزُوا يَغْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَاتٍ 
والله بما تعملون خبير